Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm making flat wire bracelets. What you're going to need for this project is some 3 or 5 millimeter flat artistic wire, 18 or 16 gauge wire. I have a bracelet mandrel, beads, and my tools. We're going to measure about 8 inches of the 3 millimeter flat artistic wire. I'm going to actually harden it up a little bit with a rawhide mallet because the 3 millimeter is a bit softer. And then I'm going to wind it around the bracelet mandrel. I will link up all my materials and tools in the description below the video. So we're going to wind it around the mandrel. If you don't have a mandrel, you can wind it around a round form. And then we're going to remove it and bend it at the position that we want the little bend to be. It depends on how large the middle piece is going to be. So we'll be sure to measure it the right length. And so we bend the ends out into a kind of a hook formation. And then we're going to clip them to about 5 eighths to 3 quarters of an inch. And then I'm getting my uh, beetle on looping pliers. This way we can get a consistent loop because the little ends are cylinder, they're not tapered. So we can get a nice even loop on either side. So just grab the end with the looping pliers and bend it around. And then we can close the loop with our flat pliers. These are the Zeron tweezer nose pliers. They're very handy for getting into little spaces. So just close up that gap. So then once we have that closed, we are just going to push one of the little loops closed. And then we're going to go to the other side and just push it down a little bit, leaving a little bit more of a gap that we can get a pendant type thing in between. So that's our basic shape. This bracelet form is amazing. You can put any little thing inside. So now we're going to make a kind of spiral bead like we did in the live stream a couple of weeks ago. So we'll start a couple inches from the end and form a loop and then just bend the end around and clip it flush. So that's our starting point. And then we're going to put on a bead. This one's about 12 millimeters. You can use any size bead you want. I've done bracelets where I attach a bunch of these spiral beads together. I'll link up some other tutorials in the description below the video. So bend it out at an angle and then the same size loop on the other side. So there we go. We have the two loops. Hold it with the flat pliers and then just wind the wire carefully back over the bead. So just moving our way down, careful that it doesn't slip and just slowly bend it around, holding the other end with the flat pliers. So that's our beginning point. Then we'll flip it over and just we're pushing it against the bead as we wind it. And then you can pinch it in a little bit and clip it flush. Make sure you push in that little pokey end and do any adjustments you want. I'm going to bend the ends down a little bit so they're more curved. We're going to pop one in there and close it up so it stays in place. I'm going to bend those ends down a little bit more so they're more down towards the bottom of the bead and then that way it's easier to hook it in place. And there you have your very funky, simple spiral bead flat wire bracelet. Lots of possibilities for these designs. And now the five millimeter wire is quite a bit stiffer. You're going to have a little bit of trouble with this one. I'm actually just measuring it right off the roll, bringing it around and I'm holding it sort of in the center there. And I'm actually just going to bend it back and forth to snap it because this one is so thick that you don't want to use your good cutters to clip it. We're going to bend it at the same spot on the other side and then we're going to just 
turn the end with the end of the looping pliers and we're going to pinch it down so it's nicely in place. Same on this side. We're just going to turn the end a little bit and pinch it in just to close that gap. So now we're going to get the larger area of our looping pliers and bend it around again to form a little hook. Same on the other side, the same size. So that's our basic shape. And you can adjust it with the flat pliers just to make sure they're nice and straight. Same on the other side. to Straighten it up a little bit. There you go. So that's our basic shape for the bracelet. And now I'm going to make a funky little sort of centerpiece. I'm just starting by taking a bead. I'm using beads between 8 and 6 millimeters. You can go a little larger. You can do some odd sized beads. You can do some metal beads. There's all kinds of possibilities. This is very abstract. And I do have other uh, bracelet tutorials where the whole bracelet is done in this style with the kind of swirls. One of the very first wire jewelry projects I made in the 90s was very similar to this where I just took wire and wound it around and formed a whole band of a bracelet in this style. So now we're just going to keep weaving it around like do some spirals and then weave the end back through one of the other spirals. It'll make it a little bit more solid. This is the 16 gauge wire so it's quite a bit thicker and a little more difficult to work with with the 18 gauge, but it's still quite workable. It's the artistic copper wire and it's soft enough. So we're going to go around and around our beads. I used five beads. I prefer when there's a uh, uneven number of beads. I find it makes it a little more asymmetrical and it just feels more balanced to me. So every now and then you can wind it back through one of the other spirals just to keep it all held together and keep adjusting it as you go. We're going to put one last bead and sometimes I put the wire the opposite direction to make the spirals. We just want it to have a little bit of variety. You can also uh, vary the distance of the wire in the spiral. Some can be more tight, some can be more loose. This is very, very free form. So keep straightening the wire, curve it around, bring it through one of the other spirals, and then just bring the end around so that end would be pretty finished. Flip it around. I cut my wire a little bit long started with about two feet so better to have too much than too little. We're going to bring it around and then we're going to clip the ends flush on both sides. So we'll just clip it flush and then we'll get our flat pliers just to pinch in that pokey end and do any little adjustments you need. Just want to make sure the ends aren't scratchy so just poke them in a little bit. And then you can do any adjustments by hand. And we're going to put one side on the bracelet and then just close the one side. We need one side to be closed. And then the other side, I just made more of a gap in there so it's easier to hook it in and it just hooks right in there. Easy to open and close. You can just put it on your wrist. I made it a little big. I have really tiny wrists. So there is our flat wire funky bracelet. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.